many questions, but I'll try to sum them up. First of all, if a woman comes for Umrah or Hajj, we know that a man and a woman must assume the state of Ihram and prohibit the things that are restricted for a person who is in the state of Ihram from what is known as the Miqat. Certain places and areas, anyone that, is, that are surrounding Mecca, anyone who's flying or driving or whatever traveling to coming through must assume Ihram at that area, not before, uh, uh, after exceeding it. No, they have to do it at that area or before. So if a woman comes and then she gets her menses before reaching the Miqat, she has two options. One, either to cancel her Umrah altogether. So she goes with her husband, stays in the hotel room, and he does his Umrah, he does whatever he wants, and then go back with him. Option two, that she assumes her ihram though she has her monthly period on. How is that done? Simply, she takes a ghusl and she wears the ihram and she says, لبيك اللهم umra," Providing that she has to wait the entire time until she's purified and then performs her uh, uh, major ritual bath, her ghusl, and then uh, uh, resumes her, um, her umrah through tawaf, sa'i, cutting her hair, and that's it. Some people say, okay, but we don't have enough time. We have only one day or two days. Then this case, you have to refer to option number one, which is cancel it. Next time you come, you do it. Now, if she assumed her state of ihram while she was pure, and after a couple of hours, she got her menses, that's problematic. If she did not make a condition Meaning, the woman knows that probably today, tomorrow, I will get my menses. Not me, of course, her. She says, what to do? We say, assume your ihram and make a condition. What do you mean, Shaykh, by condition? You say, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ عُمْرَ فَإِنْ حَبَسَنِي حَابِسْ فَمَحِلِّي حَيْثُ حَبَسْتَنِي Oh Allah, I assume my umrah. I'm now in my ihram. But, you make a condition. If I were to be prevented, if I were be, to be blocked from continuing my Umrah, then I may take off my Ihram and go back to my previous state. So if you said that, and then you were uh, uh, um, faced with a situation where you got your menses, then there's no problem, you cancel your Umrah. Do I have to slaughter? No, you have, don't have to do anything. You made the condition. Sheikh, I did not make the condition. What should I do? Now you're in a big... Uh, 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 trouble because now you have to stay in your state of ihram until you finish it perform ghusl and then continue you mean I cannot uh, cut my hair no I cannot cut my nails no I cannot wear perfume I cannot have uh, I be intimate with my husband no you cannot so if she says okay I live in Jeddah it's an hour drive so you go back you wait once you're pure, you take your ghusl, you go and continue uh, or resume your uh, umrah without the need of resume, uh, uh, assuming ihram again because you are still muhrim. If she says, Sheikh, I live far away and we travel by airplane and it's difficult for us to come uh, uh, except in the next six months or so or maybe year. In this case, the scholars say due to necessity, then you may... Uh, uh, resume your Umrah in the state of menses because you cannot do anything else. And this is the choice of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. But uh, uh, in regards to covering the face or not uh, covering it, the most authentic opinion is that a woman in the state of Ihram is not permitted to wear the niqab. The niqab is like the Zuro mask. It's any face veil that has an opening for the eyes. This is prohibited. And she's not allowed to wear gloves. This is prohibited. This does not mean that she has to uncover her face. Sheikh Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Al-Qayyim said there's no way, nowhere in the Sunnah where a woman uncovers her face for ihram. Or, uh, of Umrah or Hajj. So she covers her face in the presence of non-mahram men, but without an opening 
of the eyes. So one veil that she, one layer or two layers without an opening on her face would be sufficient, inshallah.